Hey y'all, welcome back to Pure South Pastures. Quick video this afternoon. Uh, I'm out here with the sheep, look at them grazing. It's, uh, it's great to see them when they're on the green grass in the evening, the sun's about to go down, check this out. Ooh, I don't know, it's not, It's probably. I don't think it's as brilliant on camera as it is in person, but the sunset's looking awesome. You can see I've got a three strand fence and I've actually pulled some posts out of this one because I'm moving them in the morning, I'll move them uh, the next paddock over so it's a little bit saggy but I think we'll make it through the evening when they lay down um, but I've got them uh, on this rented ground and we're just taking strips at a time moving one strip uh, at a time what I've realized I've known this but but uh discipline is important when grazing sheep because if you're just using um, we got barbed wire external fence um, but we have we're using uh, poly wire to, to uh, move them from paddock to paddock. And what I realized is that uh, poly wire is great, but if you're disciplined to move them regularly, they'll stay in the poly wire. It's when you leave them a little bit too long, things get a little too short and they wanna go to the next paddock or, or move on to, to try to get some, some more grazing. So as long as I keep them moving, uh, they, it seems to work really well. I've got three strands on this one, two over there, and I'm gonna work with two on the next one and see if that doesn't do a little bit better. Like I told you, they did really well at first, and then I left them a little bit too long and they learned to go through the fence, and uh, the rest was history. <laughs> but I think I've got them back. So another thing, another issue we had was Knox, uh, the guardian dog, uh, is he had been uh, doing a little bit of traveling. Again, uh, he doesn't like hot wire at all because he got popped when he first came here, the first day he was here. And if you go back and watch my video on that story, he left for eight days and, and was gone. And so he's very, very um, shy of electric fence. So getting him to move into a paddock is even tough. When, you're, when you start uh, moving electric fence, man, he gets antsy. Well, uh, that combined with uh, the fact that my neighbor had a cow, uh, a Jersey milk cow that had a calf, and this is just so wild. Knox was over there at my neighbor's house, just staying right up by their house because that's where the cow was. And he was uh, just sticking close to that calf, I guess, uh, just feeling the need to, to guard that baby calf. I noticed he did that when our when we were lambing. He always stayed close to that that ewe that was lambing. So that's a that's a great instinct to have, but he doesn't need to be over at the neighbor's doing that because then he's not here with our sheep. So I had to go back to... Um, the method that I that I used a little while ago, and so I wanted to show you that today. I'm gonna flip the camera around, camera around so you can see. All right, sheep are down here in this bottom, and you can see Knox laying there, and he's got he has the yoke on. Um, I told you this before, but in case you didn't see that video, I got the idea from Texas A&M AgriLife, uh, the Guardian Dog Research Center. Um, they had the plans for the yoke. It's made out of PVC very simple to build they, they'll actually you can download the plans for free from them and what that does is it keeps him from going through any fences so uh, he's not over at the neighbors he's not crossing roads he doesn't like it but he gets used to it and it's not a long-term approach it's uh, just for a short amount of time to keep him close to the sheep to keep him in the fences and um, just to to uh, keep him from running over the neighbor's house one thing about it i'd rather have him a little bit uh frustrated about having that yoke on than to have him in the street or in the road which the highway is just past that field right there the field right there and then the highway is right there so um, i'd rather have him a little bit frustrated with me about wearing a yoke than to have him in the highway and having to scrape him up so uh, right now i don't have any other dogs i want to get some uh or one like to get a little female to go with him he's fixed but uh, i think he probably would get along better with a female and so i'd like to get a young one and partner with him and let let him Meh. let him teach that young dog so Meh. but right now i don't have any backup and so i'd be in a world of hurt if i lost him sheep are uh are doing good this is uh kind of a rough patch but they're enjoying this. There's a lot of water here. They're enjoying this green. We're supposed to get inch and a quarter uh, on Thursday. So you can 
see the lambs are coming on strong. They're growing, really growing. They've really been playing out here today. That old feeder right there, old trough is, is there from, I had cows in here last summer and we fed some mineral out of that. <clears throat> and I just hadn't moved it back. You is being really vocal. Probably not anything. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what's what's going on. Anyway, look at that sunset. Pretty. Hey, Knox. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. He's doing okay. I was moving in the fence a minute ago, so he was trying to get away from me. Come here, Bubba. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here, Bubba. That's good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's good. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's a good boy. You can see how that's built. It just uh, just fits around his neck, behind his collar, and uh, you see that it's got the big bolts on the bottom that weights it, so those stay at the bottom so he can eat and drink and all those things, and it. Just keeps it where he's not going to go through any fences. Slows him down. We also, uh, when I first, when he first came back after being gone for eight days, I brought him back, and he, w I didn't trust him to stay around. So we we chained him with a long chain that had swivels on it. Uh, I put trap swivels on it so it wouldn't get tangled up. And um, he was on a small tire that he could drag around. And that's when he really bonded with the sheep. So that worked well too. It slows him down. He couldn't um, really do any chasing of the sheep, but he the biggest thing was he couldn't run off. So just some some uh, simple methods to to help with guardian dog stuff if, if you have guard dogs. And I know everybody has their different ideas about what you should or shouldn't do. <laughs> and anytime you post a video, you're just opening up to everybody's... Uh, telling you how bad you are for putting that on him. But like I said, I'd rather uh, that than me scraping him up on the, on the highway. So he's a good dog. Sheep are doing good. I like sheep as long as they stay in. I spent last week, um, yeah, they were, it was kind of a, they're up here, uh, the, the uh, perimeter fence up here is not, not that great. And so they were finding some low places where they could go under the fence and I just never, I never thought that's that's how they were going to get out but anyway it's what they did so we'll, we'll be working on that fence up there it's like i said this is a lease property but it's our responsibility to keep fences so we'll take care of those and get them tightened up and patch up any spots before we take them back up there because they were they were in the landowner's yard up there uh, grazing around the yard i got a couple calls that uh i hate getting those kind of calls Say good fences make good neighbors, and uh, I want to be a good neighbor, I want to be a good tenant, and uh, and I want my animals taken care of well. So, just short video today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.